It's no longer a combat role for Edmonton-based troops in Afghanistan, but that doesn't mean there's no longer a threat. Roughly 3,000 troops from Princess Patricia's Canadian Light Infantry were in CFB Suffield near Medicine Hat last month. That's to begin their training for a long, six to ten month mission in Afghanistan's capital city of Kabul. That's where Canada's soldiers will be training 950 instructors within Afghanistan's own security forces. But the military says that doesn't mean the threat in the war-torn country is over. To be able to move from camp to camp, we have to be prepared to deal with the th typical threats that exist within Afghanistan, IEDs and possibly direct fire ambushes uh, within that environment. Canada's military death count in Afghanistan is at 155 since the mission began back in 2002. 97 of those deaths were the end result of an IED or landmine. To save lives along with their own, Canada soldiers spent 12 hour days practicing drills inside CFB Suffield's vast and endless muddy roads. In one drill during the convoy, a small handful of troops will get out of their vehicles after noticing an imperfection along a muddy gravel road. Then a handful of troops get out on foot ahead of the small group of vehicles to track down an IED. Those soldiers are the first line of defense for the entire group. Well, there's always a threat, so we've got to do training like we're doing here right now. Um, train for the worst possible scenario and then hope for the best is kind of the, the mentality, right? So. Reporting for the Edmonton Sun, I'm Jeff Cummings.